Hello gang, welcome back to the DIY IT department. In this session, we're gonna be discussing with you how to update your BIOS and your device drivers for your operating system. Uh, before we get into that, let's go on over to Wikipedia and find out what a device driver is. In computing, a device driver or software driver is a computer program allowing higher level computer program to interface with a hardware device. A driver typically communicates with the device through the computer bus or communication subsystem to which the hardware connects. When a calling program invokes a routine in the driver, the driver issues commands to the device. Let's go on over to BIOS on Wikipedia and find out a little bit about that. In IBM PC compatible computers, the basic input output system, BIOS, also known as System BIOS or ROM BIOS, is a de facto standard in defining a firmware, firmware interface. The name originated in earlier computer running CPM and other operating systems, where the BIOS was loaded from the disk rather than stored as firmware. The BIOS software is built into the PC and is the first code run by a PC powered on, the boot firmware. When a PC starts up, the first job for the BIOS is, to, is the power on self-test, which initializes and identifies system devices such as the CPU, RAM, video display card, keyboard, mouse, hard disk drive, opti optical disk drive, and other hardware. Your BIOS is also the piece of software that loads up your operating system. So it tells your system to start uh, Microsoft Windows. So now that we have a little bit of education out of the way, let's go back to our uh, product support for our computer through Dell. Uh, first, we want to look at this page. We got system configurations, drivers and downloads, parts and upgrades, manuals and documentation, and warranty. So we want to go into the drivers and downloads. So as you notice that we have all these different uh, applications and drivers, and if you look at it, it tells you what the application is, whether it's recommended, the date released, um, and then the version it is. So you can click on each one of the device drivers, download it, and install it to your PC. Now, for those of you that um, have not done this before, we're going to show you in just a minute. But uh, let's take a look at some things first. You've got audio drivers. Uh, you got your chipset. Here's the BIOS that we were talking about. And in this BIOS for the uh, XPS 1330, it is, this is the version of A15. So keep that number in mind because we're going to talk about it in just a moment. But the, um, basically, this is where you're going to find all your drivers. When you purchase your PC, you more than likely received a disk that has the drivers loaded into it, uh, loaded on it, and that is from the factory. But as time goes on, your manufacturer of your computer, they run updates for these drivers. And so that's why you want to go in and make sure you have the latest update because it takes care of a lot of the errors and things of that nature. So, of course, these are all your uh, drivers. So we're going to close this out. Remember, I was talking to you about the BIOS and what version it was. It was the A15. We have taken a snapshot of our computer here, and this is the opening screen before it loads into Microsoft Windows. And if you notice that the BIOS revision is A15, so the BIOS on this machine is up to date. So we don't have to worry about that. But let's say we want to update some of the other drivers on our machine. So all you have to do is go to Start Menu, and we're going to go to Control Panel. And we are going to go to Device Drivers. So we're going to look for that. And that should be the Device Manager right here. So we're going to double click on that. And that is going to bring up all the devices and the drivers that you are running on your PC. So if we take it step by step, you can actually expand these out and you can go through them one by one. So if I wanted to check the driver on it, I would highlight that 
and then I would go to properties. From this, you can tell you know the general information about the um, the the driver or the hardware, and you can go scroll through here, and then here is the driver, and this tells you what version the driver is, and you can even hit update driver, and it will go out to the internet and try to find the latest driver. Now, for some people, this is a little confusing going through the device manager. Um, and you can't really get a full spectrum of all the drivers loaded onto your computer. Well, there is a utility out there, which we're going to show you here in just one moment. But the utility goes out through your computer and finds all the device drivers. Now, we have that pulled up for you. Um, it is a third-party application, so you need to know that. Um, but it seems to be a pretty good application uh, to finding your drivers, and I trust it. I have it loaded on my computer. But um, all you have to do is download this, and it's called um, our driver view. And when you download it, we're going to go to our download file, and we're right here. And all you have to do is run the program. So driver view goes out through your computer loads up all the drivers it will take a few minutes to load them all but once it does that you get a full menu of all the drivers that may be hidden in different places throughout your computer port site we have all the drivers and the versions located and you want to compare whether you have the latest driver for let's say video zero apa your security drivers your network drivers input diagnostics um, so you have a lot of different drivers there so we can pull that up and here is the driver view we will include a link to driver view on uh, the resource support section of this video so you can scroll through and look at all the drivers that are on your system and what versions they are you can also see what uh, company or manufacturer is a part of that driver so that pretty uh, much Concludes drivers uh, and BIOS. I do recommend that you keep your drivers and your BIOS up to date. Again, the manufacturer of your computer puts out these um, updated drivers to help fix issues with your computer. So we will see you in our next session. We're going to be discussing with you about reinstalling or re-imaging your hard drive and reinstalling um, Microsoft Windows. So we will see you in the next session. Thank you.